My saves were deleted. Not that it matters, but... I mean, completing the game didn't really do anything. So I don't mind that it's gone, but I still want to see if I can get it back. Oh yeah, the controls. I'm pretty sure I don't play in default control scheme. This recording is just for testing purposes. So I can play the Rose DLC come the weekend. It's gonna be amazing. With Mum. Go tell a Rosie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Long ago. Wanna see if my graphic settings Gifts will not cause any lag. You took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink. The girl was trapped inside a mirror. Oh wow, the, the hair looks kind of terrible. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Uh, what am I doing? Watching this skip it? Oh, uh, well, I guess I didn't want to see how it would transition from that scene to... Nothing! I'll put her down. Uh, game is as bad as I remember, I suppose. Okay, yeah, this is definitely... Not ideal. Let's see how far it can go. Alright, it can go all the way up to four times. I'll try 20. Ah, there's no way to change it when you're already playing the game. Interesting. Display audio controls key bindings. Here we go. Pick up, reload. Guard. Ah, recovery items. Alright, I can map it to an extra mouse button if I, my, my button mouse had one. That's pretty nice. Zoom in and out with Alt. Hmm. Alright, does Q and E map to anything? the menu it is. Left hook straight, much odds lot use powers. I think those are for rows. What are they doing here? Anyway. Uh, crouch and stand with C. Yeah, that sounds fine to me. Run with shift. I have that on alt typically, but I've gotten used to using my pinky. It is just a toggle, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so. Cover with you. Never. 
never mind, something else is already using Q. Quick turn on. Quick turn is useless anyway, not when you're playing with mouse and keyboard like me. Well, I guess I need to set it something. The index it is. It doesn't feel natural to press C, but the index are nice. I'll map this to Z. I might accidentally quick turn when I just want to crouch. <laughs> But then again, you don't use that function all that often. Uh, possible P, map and journal, me and them, inventories tab. I can set something to E if I want to. That seems to be Open the inventory. Oh, whatever, this will do for now. Nice. Oh, let's just get this over with quickly. Um, but the mouse shows up whenever. I go too far to the left or right, that's kind of annoying. There, there. I still don't quite it's like, like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Sensitivity though. I might increase it again. Triple. That's the bathroom. Almost there, honey. Sweetheart, don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Huh, what is this button? What does that do? I don't know anything about taking care of babies. I never asked mom about it. Okay, I'm gonna. Maybe I should increase mouse sensitivity and 
dad. I double it. Oh, uh, making it higher makes it look make it makes it slower. Two. Okay, never mind then. I have no idea what that but what what this option does. Or maybe I'm supposed to make this value lower. Dang it. How annoying. Uh, this is a little better. Although maybe it's a little too much now. I'll turn it to 25. I think that'd be nice. Yeah, perfect. I mean, we see it's back now, but... We're never gonna get to see Ethan's face. Anyway... You're ready to get shot at a bunch, totally my Is wife. Okay? Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. All right, I've seen enough. I know how the transitions go by now, pretty much. Please skip, I am pressing P. There we go. So the hairs kind of look terrible. Look at that. Look at that hair. That looks so much better. I'm gonna go to my settings again and see if I can do something about that actually. But wow. They did something during the updates. This runs way smoother now. That's for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in frickin' Castlevania House Belmont now. Well, not House Belmont, that's impossible. Would have been nice if that's where you landed instead. Okay, options. Display. must be some kind of setting here that's all about the hair I'm going above my grab my memory now. By quite a lot. Although I'm pretty sure that just means the loading times will be longer, as long as they're not that long. It should be fine. any lens distortion. Okay, let me lower things a bit. The things that affect the memory at least. Shadow cache is important. Affected shadows affected by a lot. This doesn't.
Okay, so I basically need to turn off the shadows. Okay, well, I can't go below it. Whatever, everything else is low enough. It should be fine. You know what? The hair will be just fine. Yeah, the heck is up with the acoustic guitar playing right now? Also, I thought wobbling supposed to be off for third person. This just feels weird. Third-person mode did not help answer that question. Ethan Winters trudging through Winterland. instead just feels more natural for the that binding it's irrelevant quick turn with Zay why not menu. What about like the inventory? Oh, tab, right. And E does absolutely nothing. Person makes it makes some things a little harder to see. Anyway, this is all just atmosphere anyway. A bit annoying honestly because it's very easy to get lost. Even if it is too linear. Just due to the fact that you're so incredibly blinded. Okay, so I am getting lagged. Look at that. What the heck? Those pixels. <laughs> Maybe I don't want my settings to be too high. Okay, dude, that's just that's just really awkward. I need to do something with the memory. Delta resolution. Over performance. Turn VSync off, honestly. That one tends to not do much.
that's a that's the field is useless. I don't I don't like the blurring effect that happens. Anyway, it can just be disorienting typically. Okay, so turning the graphics lower made things look better. Hopefully reduce the lag too. I mean, it's clear, this is just a bonus add-on, but it's very clear. I mean, they could have at least tried harder. <laughs> but a lot of things don't work in third-person mode. me I burped. Yes, that was me burping. It just so happened to time perfectly well with the jump scare noise thing. Don't worry about it. Everything is fine. For now. crouch this time. Yeah, also doesn't help that the cutscenes go back to first person anyway in the end. Yeah, overall I'd say it's not very worth it experiencing the game this way. Even if it's on a repeat playthrough. Or you kinda just wanna go for a new perspective. So honestly this new perspective it definitely does something, but uh it isn't necessarily enhancing the experience. Here we go, I could finally run. also makes things a little laggy but whatever hell am I? yeah that's from the trailer when DLC were push announced yeah. unfortunately there's just no way I'm gonna install this on my hard drive right now Me and Mom were just gonna have to deal with the occasional stutter. journal oh my god how much dialogue and stuff did I forget and the wow Ethan sure can draw house we should go to. Might be this one. Maybe maybe they're out. Mm 
It is almost hilarious. Honestly, how optimistic Ethan is during the beginning of this game. A bunch of soldiers come at you and then you're in this place that's clearly far detached from what happened? the world. And yeah, he's like, oh, maybe they're just out. Never mind the prick that everything's in goddamn fucking shambles and no one on their right mind could even live here. For more than like a week at least. There we go. Nice. Oh, well, that cutscene was animated for third person. I want, I want escape to be able to exit rather than right click. Is there a way to do that? I've never quite got used to that and now I want to see if there's a way I can do that. Also press B. Ah, oh, come on! I can't map it to escape. You're kidding me. Backspace just resets. Just feels so natural. Well, the next best key is tilde doesn't work. They just run out of the house. Okay, in third person, Ethan doesn't look as professional as he should. <laughs> From how mom remembers. <laughs> I mean, these are still pretty good swings, I'd say. like this don't do well either. What the hell is wrong with this place? Huh. Uh, okay. Oh, why did I have to switch to the goddamn knife? Ah! <laughs> 
God, I hate the third person mode. I mean, this is also the hardest difficulty. But I'll blame the third person mode. It's definitely not because I suck. Okay, alternatively, I can just run away. There should be like... I don't need to fight the guy. I just need to get the key. Although, on second thought, I kind of suck. Okay, I unloaded every ammo into this guy. I mean, some of them missed granted. Okay, I am supposed to just run away here. Yeah, where the... quick save but uh, I can just go back to first person now if I wanted to Okay, there they are. I know those aren't keys. Oh, they just he just gives up. Okay, that's very good. I mean I guess that's a speedrun strat, although I've watched speedruns of this game. <laughs> And uh, they definitely do way more complex stuff than freaking running around like a stupid idiot. to do the examine thing as well. Where 
were they gonna show up again? I don't quite remember. All I know is that I'd much rather be on the high ground. That village of shadows is fucking bullshit, <laughs> ain't it? I'm gonna give this one more try. that much option here. Do you die? Apparently not. Okay then, Village of Shadows, enemy HP, fucking Over. bullshit. <laughs> No one actually holds a knife out like this. When we're in third person, when we're in third person, it makes sense for us to be like. <laughs> it's it's like you know when you try to imitate the third person in real life, except it's a video game character. I I, I don't know. We don't have enough for a first aid. Thankfully, there won't be any more enemies. At least until after what? What am I doing still playing? Oh, never mind. The sequence is already right now. Okay. Eh, he ran. Oh, I shot him last time. Yep. Mark 
Um, Damn it. There's the shotgun. Okay. Fuck, I didn't mean to. God damn it. <laughs> Whatever, I'm safer now. To them. Ah, no! I thought I could dodge it, I was wrong. Person mode. It is basically technically a harder way to play the game. Okay, I I'm not sure if I want to, but like you know, may as well see how it's like for now, just to see if it works and stuff. You know, I'm recording anyway. Yeah, alright, it's its own thing. Okay. <laughs> I think, I believe this game, I believe this DLC plays in third person by default. Yeah, I have actually already. <laughs> Ah oh, man, that just honestly reminds me of Resident Evil 7, Madhouse, although Village of Shadows, Madhouse, it is tech that's technically the point, just being absolutely bullshit. Anyway, I'll skip this because I want to experience the cutscene with me. I just want to see how the gameplay feels. For now. Wow, that's just a lot of cutscenes. So I believe it uses its own separate save files. Which means separate autosave. Long loading times. I'm still here. Oh my god. I went through all that loading just for another cutscene. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's in third person mode by default. So, hopefully this DLC is designed around this. It should be. Okay. Well, I've seen enough for now. Wait. What? Well, 
I'd like to see if I can get a gun early. How soon we get to fight stuff. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be a long intro sequence. I've seen enough. I just need to check if the video recording went well now. And that's it.